Good morning. Hey, Lazarus. We're awake. Thank you so much. See you in a bit. Bye bye. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to another Laura and Nicholas vlog. So, if you have been watching our previous vlogs, you know that we are in South Africa currently and we're actually on safari right now. We are in the Sabi Sands, which is close to the Kruger National Park. And today we'll take you guys on a day on safari with us in a luxury lodge. Let's go. I'm and excited. It is exciting. We are a little bit tired because waking up at 5.30 or 6 every morning is just exhausting. We've been doing that for the last eight mornings, so yeah, getting is, a little tired. It is so worth it though. Now we're on our way to the main area and there, there are like little snacks, little nibbles before you go on your game drive. The real breakfast is only for after the game drive. Let's have a look. Let's Okay, so this is our vehicle. It's a nine seater, but it's just the two of us. Right here, we have our tracker Louis. How are you? And right here, we have our ranger Lazarus. So they're the team that's going to find all the wild animals for us. Got some blankets as well, because it's cold. And a little takeaway coffee. So you know us, first coffee. So we'll be spending close to three hours driving around this morning and trying to find some animals. We had some great sightings the last few days. Last night we even saw a group of wild dogs killing an impala and then hyenas came to eat the remains and chase the wild dogs away. But it got even better because then a bull elephant came and trumpeted. Oh my god! just to make sure that everyone knew who the king of the bush really was. So we might not see the same today. Chances are very, very slim, but that's fun about going on a safari. You never know what you're going to see. Let's see what we can find today. Okay, so one minute in, the first animal we spotted was an eagle. Yeah. That's a first. <laughs> I hadn't seen that one before. Okay, so we just came across a herd of buffaloes, which is one of the big five. This one actually lost the horn. Might be from a fight. So apparently the buffaloes are like a bit on edge and our tracker just saw some wildebeest running away. So there are some wildebeest there by the water, but we're not going to go have a look because we saw some impala running away. Yeah. And that might be because there's a predator in town. So we're gonna go and see if we can find some tracks. beautiful now let's see what we find next there was a branch in the way so Louis decided to just hack it off so we've been driving for exactly an hour now and I feel like we've seen so many animals but we haven't seen a single car yet so I think that's what makes it really special as yeah. well is being out here alone. in nature alone that's one of the benefits of doing a luxury safari is that you won't be surrounded by 10 other cars or 20 other cars or even five other cars it will just be you your ranger and your tracker and sometimes you will see another car it doesn't but happen 
No, no never too much. It's, it's just a much more holistic experience. Yeah. We just saw some elephants in the distance. So we're gonna go off-road a little and try to get closer. And that is number two of the big five. <laughs> So through one of the big five, <laughs> we have a beautiful rhino right there. But Nicholas is going to film this with the good camera so you can see it properly. But we are so lucky this morning drive, aren't it's we? Of the big five. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay, so we found a pumba. Pumba. So normally warthogs, they always run away. I haven't had a clear shot of one after eight days, but now, Bye. finally, <laughs> I got a picture and some video. And here we have another hyena, a little bit closer. Ah, more zebras. <laughs> so cute. It doesn't want to get up. No. <laughs> oh. 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 oh, so cute. It is so cute. Okay, so we just stopped here to stretch our legs a little and have a little coffee. So while our tracker grinds down the coffee, because he does that every morning on the spot, we can still have a look at the little zebras and the impalas. What a morning. We've seen a lot of animals. So much. Insane. So we are having what they call a bush coffee or a ranger's coffee and it is coffee with amarula. There's some fruit as well, some biscuits and of course great views, great company. Thank okay, so just much. had a lovely little coffee but now it is time to hit the road again and go look for some more animals. By the way, if you guys want to become big and strong like Louis, you just eat, 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 pop and pop. Meat. eat pop and meat every day. If you want to stay skinny like Lazarus, you have to balance, balance your diet. You eat salad. Salad. Like me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you guys look the same. No, no, not big portion, small portion as long as it's balanced. <laughs> balanced, balance. yes. Okay, so after our coffee break... Wow, we found this beauty. He is so big. What's the name of it? A kudu. It is a kudu. Okay, and then we found two impalas fighting. Oh, oh. Whoa! Ooh! <laughs> it's like we're watching a fight. Oh! That must hurt. <laughs> that was incredible. Wow, that fight was amazing. I don't know if the footage will be good, but... <laughs> At least we tried. We tried. So apparently they were fighting for... Ladies. A lady, yeah. Because that's what happens in Animal Kingdom. They Fights fight are mostly ladies. about ladies. And there's always a loser and there's always a winner. But it's not always the one ending up with a lady that actually wins. Alright, so we made it back to the lodge. Now we're gonna have breakfast. It is a seated breakfast. There is an a la carte menu and there's also a small little buffet. So we're just gonna enjoy our breakfast. 
and then go to the room. So you basically get some pastries, you get a fruit salad, some yogurt and granola or muesli. And then there is a smoothie bar and then there is a whole menu full of things you can order a la carte. So yeah, plenty of choice. We won't get hungry here. One, two, three. Wow, wow. thank you so okay. much. So good. Thank, thank you. you. They bring oh every God. single dish here with this type of yeah. French casserole on yeah. top. I think it's so French cool. Vibe. Enjoy, babe. It looks Enjoy. delicious. It does. Africa's scrambled egg. Okay, so now it is time to chill a bit by our own private pool overlooking the bush. So basically after breakfast, you just have time until your evening safari drive, which, which starts at 3.30. What we mostly do is just lounge by the pool a bit. Sometimes we have a spa treatment. Uh, so we'll lunch, like lunch. Also. Yeah, lunch takes a lot of time. You take a little shower, you fresh up, or you sleep a little bit because safaris are just like so tiring. So that's what we're going to do as well. Transfer all the photos and videos you took on your morning drive to yeah. your hard drive, edit them. That's what we do as well. Yeah. So we're gonna do that right now. So what's really cool as well is that you are actually in the bush. So there are wild animals coming here. Um, right now it's just a little impala. But this morning we saw an elephant a bit further. I mean, there could be a lion, there could be a leopard. You're in the wild. But I wish there would be like an elephant or something. Yeah, Laura really wants to take a picture of her in the pool with an elephant drinking yes. from the pool. The thing is, this summer was so rainy yeah. that there are too many water holes. Well, too many. There's just enough water for the animals so they won't come to the pool to drink. So I don't think they will be coming. But I mean, look at this place. Isn't this cool. amazing? Another thing that's really cool about safaris and luxury lodges is the fact that there are complimentary mini bars in almost every luxury safari lodge. So right here we have ours. As you can see, a couple bottles of wine, bottle of bubbles. We have some brandy. There are some things to make your cocktails with and then there's a mini bar right here unfortunately i already drank all the beers that were here but yeah basically you have a full mini bar that is totally complimentary we have some more wine here that was actually bottled right here in the game reserve in 2012 and then of course the standard coffee making facilities so yeah, you can safely say that being on a luxury safari is about viewing wildlife and eating and drinking. Time to go for lunch. Yeah. Let's go. So it's only a one minute walk from our suite to the restaurant. Yeah. Um, during the day, you can just walk freely, but during the night day, escort you have to call you, yeah. an escort. That sounds so weird. Yeah, you have to call someone to call. escort you because exactly. wild animals can exactly. eat you. <laughs> Stop stealing my food. First things first, some starters. Mm -hmm. So lunch and dinner are basically three course meals. So Laura's having a little healthy salad. I'm having some Mozambican prawn quesadillas. Mm -hmm. And then we'll switch to the big stuff. Two, one. Hey, thank you so much. So it is time for the main course. I am having some fish of the day while Laura is having a picture of her food. Oh, it's spring like a rolls. Fish yeah. She went for two starters. You know the vibe. And just as we thought, Laura skipped dessert. Because I'm a little mouse. Mouse don't eat a lot. <laughs> you are so Cute. Well, that was a lovely little lunch. So it's already 3 p.m. by now because, yeah. as we said, going on safari, a big part of it is eating. We leave for our game drive at 3.30. So we're just going back to the room now. We're gonna get changed into our little safari outfit. Then... Because no, no white on safari. Yeah, Otherwise, the I lions do. will eat Laura. It's not true, I do wear white on safari. I might have had one too many amarulas. <laughs> 
But then again, that's what safari is all about. Okay. Wildlife, good food, good drinks and good company. Aww. <laughs> so by the way, our room is actually a bit underground. So as you can see, this is the walkway and then this is the walkway to our room. Whee! Time to get ready for our game drive. We've basically been wearing the same outfit for the last eight days, but then again, in most luxury lodges... Babe, why are you running away? Oh, I'm so sorry. In most luxury lodges, you get um, free laundry as well, or yeah. complimentary laundry. Sorry, I'm not wearing any pants yet. <laughs> So you can just like wash your clothes after every game drive if you want, so... You only need one or two outfits and you're yeah. good. So what's important for outfits when going on a game drive is one, Let no your... flashy colors. Oh, okay, no flashy colors. Actually, white isn't ideal as well, but it's it's okay, like you can wear it. So I'm always wearing these beige or khaki tones, earthy tones, but I combine it with white most of the time, which isn't ideal, but... Number two, wear close shoes yeah i don't know why but if you have no, to get out of the car yeah. just make sure you don't wear sandals because yeah. snakes like sandals and we don't like snakes number three what is number three layers because it can get layers. very cold in the evening and in the early mornings but it can get super hot during the day so when we're leaving now at our 3 30 p.m game drive it will be 30 so degrees hot. yeah it will be so and by hot. the time we get back it will be closer to 10 degrees yeah, it will you'll be, be in an open vehicle driving 40 kilometers an hour okay. so you will get chilly Absolutely. yes there are blankets in the car but yes you should also definitely layer up and so. then the fourth tip we have spray insect repellent that and has take it with nothing you. to do with outfits oh, okay. so the fourth tip we have is wear a hat or a cap exactly that's hat. it if your head isn't like very tight on your head wear a cap because the hats fly away you can take it with you for the photo <laughs> My tip. That's it. Okay, so it is 3.30, time to go on our game drive. And there is a little high tea option as well. I am not very hungry anymore. Because <laughs> we just finished lunch, but it's if you want, really you good. can... Oh, this really looks good. So before we go on a game drive, Lazarus checks our body temperature, just making sure we don't have COVID. Good job, babe. <laughs> so what Lazarus is holding right here is not a big lens for a camera. <laughs> it is a rifle. You never know. We will hopefully not use it. Ever. But if we have to, <laughs> he's ready for it. The animals are wild. They are unpredictable. Yeah. If they attack, Lazarus will attack <laughs> back, I guess. <laughs> Hello, Louis. How are you? We got some water, guys. Oh, that uh, would be really so nice. Still walking. Yes. All right. Off we go. So the idea for the afternoon drive is actually we're gonna drive around some open fields, open plains and try to find a cheetah that has been walking around here. We have never seen a cheetah before. And after that we will probably try and find the wild dogs that we saw make a kill yesterday because they are on the hunt. Yeah, they are. They eat multiple times a day so if we see them there's a possibility that they will kill again. So it is just us in the car today. Normally on safari you have like maximum six people in the car. If you're lucky. You but if you're lucky to... it's just the two of you. And they will always try to give you the same ranger and the same tracker, which in our case is Lazarus and Lewis, the legends. After two minutes, we already found some monkeys, but they are hiding from us. They're right here. Oh, can you see them? <gasps> so we have a hypo right there in the water. Hypo or hypo? That is the question. Got turtles on top of them. And just like that, Laura moved to the back of the car because she wanted a photo <laughs> with the alley. Look at how close you two are. Insane. That is insane. So we just came across some zebras as well, which are Laura's favorite animal. I don't know, I like all the animals. I'm not sure if I have a favorite anymore because I do love elephants as well or giraffes or lions 
So by the way, this is my view now <laughs> from where I'm sitting. I feel like you have better overview, but I also think it's less comfortable. I, f I think it shakes more over here in the back. And also I can't really hear our guide as good as I would sit in the front. So I would still recommend if you go on safari, sit in the front, especially for photos. And so you get lower, you get more, more to high level. With the yeah, camera. yeah, exactly. So now our ranger and our tracker are looking if they found some tracks that can lead us to a leopard or a cheetah. Here we have a rhino. So cute. Look how tiny he is. <laughs> so cute. So then when the sun sets, we stop to stretch our legs and have a drink and some snacks. Yummy. Yeah. Cheers, babe. Cheers. So grateful to be here. Okay, so after sundowners, it is time to blanket up as Laura is showing because it is cooling down quickly. So now it is time to go back to the lodge. Often we still see some animals while driving back, so fingers crossed. Okay, so not a big animal, but we just almost drove over a snake and we also found an elephant blocking the road okay so we made it back to the lodge yes. after a great game drive yet again and apparently there was an elephant right outside our room so we're gonna be extra careful and we're gonna have lazarus yes. he escort, will escort us because sure we don't want to be like eye to eye with an elephant <laughs> So we made it back to the room safely. <laughs> Laura's just checking if there is no elephant drinking from the pool. I don't think so. So what we're going to do now is just very quickly transfer all the pictures I took and all the videos I took to the hard drives and then we'll just freshen up and then we will go for dinner. Hey guys, we just saw the elephant. It's still there. Oh yeah, it is. Like you can't see it on the camera, but you can see it and you can hear it. If we're quiet, you, you will hear the branches break. So yeah, when you're in the bush, you're basically 24 seven on safari because you yeah. never know what's gonna pop up in front of you. So yeah, we're gonna get ready and then we will call our ranger to escort us to the restaurant because we are not walking alone with an elephant this close. Okay, it is time for dinner and it looks like we'll be having it in a very special spot. Beautiful. Look at this. Okay, so they basically made this little setup with lanterns in the bush, especially yeah. for us. Isn't that amazing? The only thing that worries me a little bit is the elephant. <laughs> so for dinner, there's actually no menu. Um, the chef just comes to your table and she explains the three starters, three mains and the desserts that are available. And then you just pick one. So these are our beautiful starters for this lovely dinner. <laughs> and it's time for the main course. I'm having a vegetable tagine and that's a seafood risotto. Yummy! And now it's time for dessert. We're having a cheese platter and some fruit, chocolate fondant and... This is the best thing you've ever had. It is typical South African malva pudding. Nicholas has been waiting all day to eat that. Okay, so we came back to our room. There is like red rose petals on the bed. Very romantic. And I saw that there is something in the bathroom as well. 
Oh That's my it. god. So I do this a little thing. Wow. Just in case we want to take a bath. I think we have to now. <laughs> How romantic! I think we really have to. <laughs> so yeah guys, that's what a luxury safari <laughs> looks like. A day in the life at Sabi Sabi Earth Lodge. If you don't book this property after watching this video, I don't know what you do, but you're missing out. Okay, so I guess this is the end of a day in the life with us in a luxury safari lodge. We really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. We had such a great time making it. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so as you see, now we're going to enjoy a little off and then go to bed because tomorrow we have an early wake up call again so yeah we're going to enjoy this bot is making <laughs> weird noises so if you like this video it would mean a lot to us if you subscribe to our channel because we have a ton more travel videos coming up so we'll see you next week this was laura and nicholas see, see you, you next, next sunday, sunday.